bit cold, but uh, yes, we're going to have to look at... Oh, hello! Greetings, greetings, and salutations. Please do not adjust your TV monitor or your computer monitor or whatever monitor you may have, for it is I, yes, Dan Kessler, and I have made my triumphant return. During these difficult times, I figured that it was a good moment for I to return to lend my strong, independent voice to the people so that I can guide you, nurture you during these very difficult times. And then I suddenly came to the realization that how I was going to spread my voice to the fine people out there. And it hit me. When I was a wee lad, I actually studied film. I paid money to learn how to watch movies. So, with that gift, and with my gift of my voice, I thought I would combine the two, and I would present to you My Cup of Tea with Dan Kessler, where I will be recommending different movies that I love to you, so that you can watch them and enjoy them as well during this pandemic. So, without further ado, the first movie that we have today is probably the movie I've seen the most in my life. And that movie is, of course, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from 1990. So, get a cup of tea and join me. Let's get to it. What can I say about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Well, as I previously mentioned, this film came out in 1990, which is the exact year that I was born. Oh, go figure. I remember when I was a wee lad, I, re I had a VHS tape that I would watch from beginning to end, end to beginning. <laughs> well, that's impossible, but you get the point. But, in all seriousness, the reasons why I love the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles so much is that this was the first film that the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles were featured in. And what a job they did. First off, Jim Henson, or as I like to call him, James Henson, was put in charge of the puppetry of the creating the Ninja Turtles. And I might I say, they came out quite splendid. They look great, and they kick major butt. Which brings me to my next point. In this film, they actually kick butt. As I'll, I'll further elaborate on that point. I've got the second film here because I do not own the first film for some silly, very silly reason. But, on this film, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, The Secret of the Use, they do not use their weapons at all. Whereas, in the 1990 original version, they kick major butt with their weapons, they use their size, they use their nunchucks, they use their staff, and they use their katanas to kick foot and shredder butt. And it is quite enjoyable to watch, I might say. And finally, another reason why I love this movie so much is that the great actor of Corey Feldman lends his voice to one of the turtles. Can you guess which one? Well, it's Donatello, so I hope you guess quickly. <laughs> Anyways, in the end, this movie has brought back many memories, and it is always a great time. Therefore, it is my cup of tea.